Uh, hey, this is Joel from Killswitch Engage. You're listening to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Rock and roll. Hello. This is That was As Alice Sleeps here. Welcome to the Foul Mouth Owl Show. What's going on out there? What's happening? How's everybody doing today? Pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. What's up, Mark? What's up, Al? Squiggity squig in the house. How are you, buddy? Good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Got a good band fantastic. tonight. Yes, we do. As Alice Sleeps is here at the uh, Lane Carroll Studios here for the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Welcome, guys. Welcome, as yeah. Alice sleeps. <laughs> These guys are in action over here. We also have video Mike Clarkson at the table tonight. Video Colin, Mike. Colin Kent is over there working hard, working hard. He's the hardest working guy in the studio. Yeah. Colin Kent, Colin C-Cart, Kent. C-Cart, C-Cart, C-Cart. C-Cart. Trisexual extraordinaire. <laughs> also in the background, we have Chrissy Snow, who has brought in some uh, friends uh, tonight with her, Nicole and Mark. Yeah. Yes. Um, Chrissy has brought Mark, and she's going to wax his taint. Is that correct, Chrissy? I don't know about that. You don't know about that? Come on now. What's yeah, going on? Yeah, I see a guy sitting there with a nervous look on his face, and uh, he's got some wow. some some wax, wax taint, sitting wax. there. <laughs> Chrissy, are you going to wax this guy? What's going on? We're trying to get this beer open right now. Oh, my God. They're concerned with beer. <laughs> Show them how to do it. you got to have a beer bottle opener on your... On your keychain to be a professional alcoholic. Thanks to Video Mike, he got that beer open. That was the biggest applause of the night, fucking opening a beer. <laughs> All right, so we're here with As Alice Sleeps. We have Drew. Who's the, uh, is he lead guitar? I'm just a guitarist. You're just a guitarist. No lead, just the just guitarist. Just the guitarist. Like That's his title. You and Juwan go back and forth with You and Juwan voice. go back and forth with the guitar. Um, Jesse's on drums. He's the newest member. Let's give Jesse a hand. He's the only one we're calling a member. Yeah, he's because a member. he's always late for everything. Jesse, what's up? Why are these guys here 10 minutes early? I've never seen rock stars here 10 minutes early. It's like a real job. It's like a real job. You got a real job? He's got a real job. Where do you work? Dickie's Tree Service. Dickie's Tree Service. Let's give Dickie's Tree Service a hand. 
for making Jesse late. So what was your excuse Saturday? If you got wood, call Dickies. Yeah. Dickies got wood, right? Dickies got wood. He can give you a little trim. So Jesse was late for the photo shoot on Saturday too. What's up with that, Jesse? Overslept. Overslept. <laughs> he was up drinking all night with Dickies Tree Service. Yes, dude, yes. drunks. <laughs> but they're not drunk during the day while they're cutting the trees. Yes. So, and then we have uh, Ryan on base. Hello. <laughs> Also known as the uh, tall, scary kid. That's what Colin said earlier. That's exactly what he said. Oh. I gotta, oh. I'm foul mouth out, man. You oh. can't say you shit can't like say that shit. and expect me not to say something. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I said he's Malachi from like Children of the Corn. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have VJ, the singer. Let's give it up for VJ. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jawan also on guitar. Lead? <laughs> no, no. Nobody's claiming lead. We, we switch off. Like, you know, switch off. Take turns. Take turns. Yeah, Jawan. There we go. Switch yeah, Jawan. We're taking turns. Let's switch off. Jawan's got the lips the girls <laughs> like to kiss on. <laughs> <laughs> and the guys like to bust on all. <laughs> we had a photo shoot in here with these guys Saturday. Did you guys put those photos out yet? No. Not yet. Our agency just approved them. They so. just approved them? They liked them? Colin Kent is our photographer here at ECL Studios, and uh, he's been doing a three for fifty promotion last weekend. He did five pictures for fifty bucks. That was a great deal, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you guys went and headed picked up how many pictures did you end up getting? It's like fifteen. Fifteen or so pictures they got, and they're going to be coming up on the Facebook pages as, as Alice sleeps. They have one up there now. It's uh, blocked out though because they're not um, showing the new members or new member. Yeah, which it's, it's, was that the yeah, purpose of that? He's a new member too. Ah, he's a new singer. Ah, ah, ah. So, um, let's see here. Are the new uh, members um, on the preview video you got up there? Not yet. No. Yeah, we're releasing them right now. So this is it. Yeah. So this is where everybody finds out who's who and what's yep. what and what's going on there. And this is Andy. So now you know. So now we have Andy. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Lead vocals. Clean, clean. <laughs> Did you say queen vocal? Queen. He's, a, he's a screamer. Queen, too. Yeah. Queen vocal. We got a screamer in the band. What is a heavy metal band without a screamer? So a lot of, a lot of bands classify themselves as heavy metal, thrash metal. What do you guys classify yourselves at? Metal core. Metal you know, core. Not our new stuff. Not our new stuff, uh, I guess. Uh, what is post-hardcore? It's like a hardcore... Mixed That's the stuff after and... hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every band set has this problem. Uh, we don't really know. We don't want to put ourselves in something. I, mean, I think you're I... more like pre-nuclear <laughs> <laughs> apocalypse. I don't know. I think uh, iTunes classifies us as like rock. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's, I think yeah. that's right. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> rock. <laughs> so Andy's in here. He's the new. He's a new vocalist with the band. He's got a heck of a bunch of tattoos. Do you do tattoos? No. They're, they're all fake. They're for sure. We just, we just oh, stuck them on this morning. <laughs> they're a and stick. He got this off of a Mr. Frosty truck. Yeah, it's sweet. It yeah. came with his ice cream. Yeah. His gumball machines, you know, outside of Walmart. No big deal. Sharpie ink. <laughs> Bullshit. He's got a pinup girl on his on his uh, forearm there. Yeah, I had a special wear of that one. You did? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Steady as she goes. She's Real. got a ship's wheel. Yeah, she uh, she handles it. You know. <laughs> so. She's steering the ship. She yeah. rocks the boat. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, we're here with As Alice Sleeps. You guys <laughs> have just uh, signed up with a new management agency, Nocturnal. Is yeah, that correct? That's, that's right. How did you guys get hooked up with them? Uh, well, we played a show at the Grange in Wilmington like a few months ago. And I met a guy named Zach. He played for a band called From Atlantis. And we just kind of like hit it off. We were like talking and stuff about him managing us and whatnot. And uh, he just came out of nowhere and was like, hey, my friend, you know, he's uh, in this agency. And he kind of hooked us up with the agency. So that's pretty much how it happened. But it's been a cool experience. Like, it's really, it's a really cool experience. We've uh, just been emailing each other back and forth. And it's a lot of work. Sending pictures and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, we had nudes. Like, it's a lot of, I didn't even know that that's what they were going to do. What, they wanted your nude pictures? Yeah, they, <laughs> they had to see if we qualified. Yeah. So. That was a late night session after 
after Saturday's early session, I guess. That's why Jesse was uh, was late to the next day of recording and all. Yeah. What was he, the fluffer? <laughs> yeah, so I heard you guys would be the bonus? new spokesmodel for Trojan. Among That's other true. things, yeah. <laughs> all right, so, um, so what is the management company doing for you at this time? Do they have shows lined up, possible tour coming up? There's a CD. Tell us all about yeah, it. Yeah, there's. Well, I mean, right now we're uh, in the studio working our new CD out. That's going to be done, uh, well, done tracking probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, but it's not going to be out till like midsummer. Like and maybe. which uh, studio you're recording in? We record, it's actually at my house, but it's with uh, Andrew Bayless from a band called Life on Repeat. Okay. They're, they're signed to Equal Vision Records. Okay. So, and. Um, <coughs> So he's working with Eagle Vision Records. Equal. Equal Vision re uh, Records. He's not really like doing things not, for them. He does it um, his own recording for himself. He's just an engineer by himself. Um, they're on that label, like their band. But okay, so basically you've hired him to bring his gear and stuff over to your place so that he, he can get all the tracks done. Yeah. And then they take it back and master it. That's going to take some time. So that's what. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so Andrew Bayless. Yes. is doing that and he's from yeah. life on repeat so you can find him if you need some recording done um in your location that's something you don't hear about a lot. Yeah. he drives to your house <clears throat> so it's he's based out of maryland so anywhere around that area that's pretty cool actually. so where's he at in maryland because uh, maryland's Pokemoke. a big yeah, where yeah, yeah. from pokemoke pokemoke down that's down past salisbury isn't it yeah. down that way so he's down in southern maryland um so you're working on your CD with him. How about um, you have any dates coming up? Any shows coming up that you're um, looking yeah. to push, or you are you got that on hold right now I, while you're? Right now it's it's on hold. I mean the agency's got some tours lined up, but they haven't told us anything. Um, but right now it's it's pretty much on hold. They just want us to focus on the record and the promos and making the new, um, just a bunch of exactly. new, like basically building our EPK and everything. Right, right. Got to get the content straight before you can start selling yourselves. That's what we're working on right now. Mm. How about um, the Free Thinkers Ball? Have you heard of that? At the Sports Zone, last Wednesday of every month, we have a networking event that the studio produces for the Sports Zone. It's called the Free Thinkers Ball, and basically, it's for artists of all types and mediums to come out and network. It's a networking event. This month at the Free Thinkers Ball, Amber Bodie Lynn Scott will be there. She's going to be doing an acoustic. Um, so, so singing and uh, playing guitar um, and she'll be here a little bit later so we'll be meeting with her and doing a quick interview with her um, so the free thinkers ball that's local you guys are live right here in Kent County you're you're in this area um, it's the last Wednesday of every month at the sports zone you might want to stop up and check it out yeah definitely um, how about merchandise you guys got anything going in that department um, we have uh, we have designs for the next like shirts and things like that that uh, are kicking around. Um, we're probably gonna have to run some stuff by the agency yet again, you know, because they want to finalize everything. Um, right now, but, we, um, we have a CD out called Dreamer. You can pick it up on iTunes or Amazon, Zoom, anywhere basically. If you just type it in on Google, but we have it for sale at our, for merch, and then we also have a, a shirt, one shirt design. But the agency is setting us up with MerchNow.com, so we're gonna probably put out a couple more designs. Very cool. Colin has a handful of designs he can help you with. Yeah, he's very good at that. He, he typically creates them and then sends them to bands, um, which has been very effective. Um, you know he's a good artist. Mm -hmm. Colin Kent, give it up for him. <laughs> Colin got mad at me today because I was hard on him. Yeah, you were yelling at him when I got here. I was yelling at him. Business is business. <laughs> now, you guys, look, you guys are out there. You're a working band. Some of you's got jobs like Jesse. You know, you got stuff to do during the day. One of um, us has jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but when you when you um, you know, there's there's companies like the studio. Uh, th they contact you and let you know about different promotions and stuff that are going on. Do you guys feel that that's annoying, or is that something that you want to know about if there's a special or promotion going on? I'd I'd want to know about it. I mean. Right, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> let you make the decision whether or not you're interested. Yeah, yeah, it's important. So yeah. we were talking today, and, and there was some different stuff happening. And Colin was like feeling like we were spamming everybody. And I'm like, no, we're, you know, we really, we really, genuinely, 
want to help these people, you know, because, and a lot of artists aren't salespeople or promoters. They're working on their CD. They're working on their music. They got a management company helping them get their tour and everything together. So if there's a deal on something good, we want to let you know about it. So right now, you know, we're doing the uh, three for 50 bucks. You come in, Colin will spend an hour, do a good photo shoot with you, hang out, show you a little bit of his magic, and then let you pick out a couple of pictures for 50 bucks. That's a great deal because a lot of artists can't swing a $500 photo nah, shoot. Nah, definitely not. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather be spammed by a bunch of options than not have any at all. That's right. Yeah, it's just That's good, right. Good, good business, you know. And just the bottom line <laughs> is, uh, you know, you're going to look at one of them one day if you're looking and interested in something, and you're going to call one of those guys. And exactly. If, if we're not spamming you, somebody else is. So if you get spammed from Elaine Carroll Studios, it's good stuff, folks. It's good stuff. Make sure you check it out. So what's next? Uh, basically just trying to get this new album done and put out a f- we're trying to like mold our new sound I don't know going it's, for uh, a different sound it's more of a I think it's more of a matured sound um, you know we got m- more of the members that it, it looks like it fits more you know like more matured look you know we actually have like well done photography for, you know from Colin and mm-hmm. you know we're, we're trying to do a lot more now that the, you know with the new members and everything Trying to really take it to the next level, play a lot more, you know, tours and things like that. So uh, as soon as the CD comes out, you know, it's just going to be straight, uh, you know, pushing it around and and trying to tour, basically. <coughs> so who's who's got a job, Ryan? You got a job? No, <laughs> I got a part-time little thing going on. BJ's got a part-time thing going Bagging on. Groceries. What do you do part-time? Bag groceries. Where at? On base. Air base grocery guy. Yeah, it's good money. Drew, what do you got going on? I, uh, I have a part-time thing when I'm not doing the band stuff, but I work over at Toyota in Wilmington. The Toyota guy in Wilmington. What do you do there? Uh, <coughs> just maintenance stuff. True. Yeah, just like I uh, I water the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I shovel up rocks. <laughs> Keeps the rocks level. Any, anything to make a buck or two. Pull weeds. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, John? Uh, I do some landscaping during the summer. Landscaping? <laughs> stereotypical Mexican thing. Man, imagine that, the Mexicans doing landscaping. <laughs> do you hang out at Home Depot in your spare time, too? Every once in a while. God it damn. Feels like home, you know? <laughs> These guys are good. Jesse, we know he works with uh, Dickie's Wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andy, what do you do all day? I'm a you know, male stripper. At night. Um, well, you're the only one doing anything productive over there. You know, pays the bills. You know, yeah, right. No big deal. So, in a f- moment's notice, all this shit goes down the toilet when it's tour time. I don't know about, you know, Dickie Wood over here, but for <laughs> us, yeah. What's that mean? Jesse ain't gonna quit with Dickie? Huh? Dickie will lay him you off. Just, you just got the job, didn't you? No, I've been working there for a uh, while. What was the job you're trying to get? Tom Pierce. Blow jobs. That's what he was trying <laughs> to get. <laughs> Put in the man hours. Yeah, no, I mean, pretty much as soon as we get on, as soon as we announce, like, tours or anything, we're just done with the jobs, and we head out. And be gone. That's the way it rolls. That's pretty the way much. you're supposed to do it. And for a small fee, Colin Kent will roll with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we already talked to him about it. Documenting the tour. <laughs> documenting everything. I mean, so, on Facebook, as Alice Sleeps, look them up, like their page, and they have two tabs one is a band profile which has no music is that correct there's no music on this page <coughs> and the no, other one is there, no, there's three there's me, we we did both band profile and band oh, page oh look there is some computers can't play no it's up from the band page it's pulling up now and what song is this the Innocence, that's off of our uh, first album, Dreamer. Or no, that's the Dreamer, off of Dreamer. And you can buy it here for $1.29? Uh, yeah, or you can buy it on iTunes for $0.99. Cents. Or you can get it on iTunes, cheaper. <laughs> or you can just get it directly. So why do you guys charge $1.29? That, that's an that, odd... I mean, we don't charge it, that's just Reverb Nation's price. Oh, that's Reverb Nation's price. So they had to mark it up for themselves, is that what it was? <laughs> we, yeah, we yeah, only get like a few like cents a off of it. I think we get like .2 cents. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. It's, I think yeah. it takes like a whole dollar. If you want to make something. money, the music business is for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you want to make music, the music business is for you. Money is a, is a gamble. <laughs> 
Money, the money part's a gamble. But that's what it's all about. You got to keep working hard, doing the right thing, putting out your CDs, you know, create a good image, create a good sound. And then if you're doing the right thing, you know, you'll get good artists like Colin that want to work with you and studios that want to help you out. And you'll get a management company that might want to work with you. So at least you got all that stuff going on. Good shit. It is good shit. Good shit. <laughs> what do you think about all this, Mark? I think it's fantastic. Uh, who's your guys' influence? Because you remind me of Skrillex. What? <laughs> who's your influence in music? Oh, um... For me, I was never a, a metal guitarist. I, uh, I studied, like... When I got into the gu guitar, it was all blues and classic rock, like Beatles. Well, shall, you sure and, hell blew up, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I'd say, like, for me, Beatles were a big influence oh, yeah? back in the day, but now, uh... Now corn. <laughs> yeah, corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love me some corn. Ladies and gentlemen, the corn! The corn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like Metallica, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> I know the other guys have some like newer <laughs> age stuff. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your influences there, Ryan. Me? Oh man, well I guess I first started out listening to like Rush. Rush is excellent. Oh, oh yeah. Old head and shit. then I just like continuously got into I guess like heavier stuff. Like for like two years I was like obsessed with disturbed. And then I kind of just <coughs> went to like that's when they found me and then as soon as they got me I got into our kind of music. It's a funny story how we found you. <laughs> How'd you find this kid? <laughs> I'm a rock. Do you, you want to say it? Well, we had an old bass player that mm, wasn't really working out for us, and uh, I desperately wanted a new, you know, member and, to replace him. And we were actually at McDonald's one day, and our old guitarist uh, brought Ryan with him as a friend, you know, to come see practice and you know see how the band was going. And uh, I asked him if he played bass, and like even if he didn't, like if he could like replace us or replace him and stuff. And he actually turned out to be a bass player. And we tried him out, and it worked out. Well, that's cool. So you just didn't like that other guy, huh? I he thought you're even numbers. if you don't. <laughs> and you can't, you haven't ever. Please replace this dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this Screw this guy, you're out of here. <laughs> it, at McDonald's this happened? Yeah. That's a shame. Out of McDonald's. Out of, I thought they were going to say you were on lot lobby or on register or something. <laughs> <laughs> were you working at McDonald's? He was. No. <laughs> there. He went on tour and quit that job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh. If you had to go on tour, they wouldn't let you off work, would you quit? I quit many of jobs. I go on tour with a wig of love. All right. I think I quit six <gasps> jobs. Six jobs? <laughs> Good Two Lord. jobs? Six. He said six. 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 No, I don't know. I, it might not be that many, but... You, just, you can't blame a week at last for that. You just can't keep a fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> come on now, Jesse. You can't keep a job when you go on month-long tours. You come back and expect to have it. Nah, you can't. When you show up at 10 o'clock, you're supposed to be there at 7. <laughs> 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 Dickie's the only one that puts up with that shit. That's why he's got that job. Is it true or not? You know you're late for Dickie. Never late. Never late? Never late for work. What do you call these guys? Huh? They're fucking chopped liver. <laughs> When they start paying me the big bucks, then I'll show up on time. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Who's got the most tattoos next to Andy? Oh, no, these two dudes have, you have a chest piece. Got chest, ribs, half sleeve. What do you got on your chest? Um, <coughs> What's your favorite tattoo that you got? That's Probably my, my like Mexican tradition style, my sugar skulls. What are they called, sugar skulls? Yeah. I, I made that in like third grade once. <laughs> for, for Spanish class, we make sugar I mean, skulls. We call that in a Is that like a cereal or something? <laughs> it sounds delicious. Sugar we, skulls. You just like put sugar in, a, in this like sugar mold. skull. In, in the real world, is that a character it, off a of Hello Kitty? It gay skulls. I think is what it's <laughs> actually called as gay skull. But I saw that on Hello you know. Kitty once, I think. <laughs> so now you're making fun of his favorite tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> the sweet, the sugar skulls. That's how it is every day. <laughs> just clown. That's when you know you're in a rock band. And you're not the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Jesse, you can pick on him. He don't care when he gets he's drunk. He'll just, he he'll just beat you up. <laughs> yeah, he'll beat you up. Just don't fuck with him when he's drunk. <laughs> and don't have any goldfish around. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, don't have, especially the se super cheddar cheese. Even. <laughs> <laughs> he'll make you drink till you throw up in Walmart park a lot. Mm. 
All right, they so, are. Mike, you got any questions for these guys, Bunny? No, actually, I think everything's been covered. I'm just sound effects today. I'm just here sound effects talking. What is that noise? <laughs> Sounds like the fucking spaceship Enterprise taking <laughs> off. It's All right, my, I do have a question. It's my heater. Guys. Any one of you guys can answer this question. Um, what do you want to happen first? So when, when your uh, management company comes to you and says, okay, this is what the game plan is, do you guys already have a pre-existing game plan that you set aside for yourself that you want to kind of at least use to negotiate with them to make sure that they're also doing what you guys feel you need to do? Um, I think the biggest thing is um, <clears throat> when they set us on tours, we need some kind of financial help, at least, you know, guarantees from venues, you know, at least for gas, like a hundred dollar guarantee which you know it's hard to get when you don't have somebody representing you when you're representing you're like hey my band wants to come play in seven and say hey saying hey we have a band that's going to come in we'll play for this um they're working on setting us up uh guarantees for the tour you know it's it, it's hard to pull out of our pocket considering we none really have good jobs paying jobs except for jesse right now you know so. is that even english <laughs> we none really have good job. <laughs> it's the, it's the new I'm English. Like Jane. <laughs> I've been around Juwan too long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was actually talking to them and told them what we want as a guarantee. Like we're gonna get a certain type of payment and then plus food and, and waters. Okay. Um, at least for every show starting out, and then like a nice little per diem for you. Yeah, as we <clears throat> hopefully the plan is like have them tour we'll get this little guarantee in food and then get bigger and bigger and get better guarantees and yeah, absolutely. absolutely just move up the chain okay that's um, how you do it one step at a time right at a time. sounds like you guys got a good hit on your shoulders though yeah I mean, they uh, I mean, they messaged me and they they have like a six month plan for us or something they're gonna tell us that tomorrow actually okay but what are their accolades I mean um like where, where, where are they primarily at Ohio Ohio just out of Ohio cool Cool. They've actually been responsible for um, pushing some bands, you know, to pretty like high levels, uh, you know, pretty where we want to be, like actually like a dream idea, like like establishment, like we want we want to be touring with big bands, we want to be a part of something, you know, like like a warp tour, something like that. Festivals right. like mm -hmm. big things, and they've gotten bands to that point, and they've got them on labels, you know, taking care of them. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much another thing we're really looking for. Sounds pretty exciting, though, guys. You, know, you guys uh, sound like you have a good thing going for you. That What's happening over there, Jawan? Jawan's having a fucking laugh fest back there. <laughs> oh, no, I think he just finally saw his lip. And like, <laughs> <laughs> How can he finally he like, just see that motherfucker? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. Quit making fun of that kid's lips. Jesus Christ. The girls <laughs> love him. I mean, last time I recall, I think I'm the one with a girlfriend, so... Oh! <laughs> Jesse's got a job, Juwan's got a girl. <laughs> Who's got a girlfriend? Claim, his claim to fame, Juwan's For two years? Here. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's had a girlfriend Pretty for sure two years. Pretty sure he kicked your ass in the girlfriend department. <laughs> I mean, Juwan, you you guys have been dating for like a, a week, so I mean, that's, that's good. No, I think it's been longer than that. Two. That's good. Ten days. <laughs> Ten days. Come on now. He's like, it's just shy of two. Just shy of two weeks. Just right. shy of two years. <laughs> Well, with all them women in your corner, winning, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Miss um, Chrissy Snow's here tonight. How are you, Miss Chrissy? I'm good. So you brought Mark, and he's got this wax stuff. Tell us about this. It's in between his legs. <laughs> There's yeah. wax between his legs. So are we going to mm. wax his nutsack? Is that what you're going to do? No, not mm. at all. <laughs> Mark's shriveling up over there in the corner. He doesn't want his nutsack waxed. So what are we going to do with Mark? He wants to wax his face. He wants to wax his face. Yes. <laughs> Live on the Foul Mouth Out Show. Have you ever done that before, Mark? I have not. You have not. <laughs> and uh, whose idea was this? Mine? Squig's idea. Squig. Yeah. Squig. Yeah. Squig. Looks <laughs> like he doesn't remember that. Uh, yeah, well, she said it was at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys were at the bar, and you had this great idea to wax somebody's face. Yeah, I think I started with ass or taint or something. So but Mark's, ha Mark's up for getting his wa face waxed. Is that what you're saying, Mark? Yes. Mark's up to get his face waxed. That's fucking amazing. And he's going to do the uh, Harlem Shake. Now here's what we got to do. Too. We got to... <laughs> 
We gotta parlay this from the face to his taint. So how are we gonna figure this out, Squid? There's enough people here to money. hold him down. <laughs> and we don't want to torture him. What'd you say, Mark? I said a lot of money. A lot of money. And even then, um, here come the cool. ideas just come ringing in. Oh, this is trying to get on. Oh. Somebody was calling me. Who was it? I don't know. <gasps> Here's Amber texting me. I need to give her the address. Tonight we're gonna have Amber Scott here. Um, Bodie Lynn, she does acoustic music in the Delaware area. Check her out. Um, Bodie Lynn, huh? Bodie Lynn. And one of our sponsors just tried to call Denny from uh, Delaware Screen Printing, so we'll have to check in with him here in a bit. So Mark is willing to get his face shaved, face waxed. How much money you guys got on you collectively? <laughs> I'm asking as Drew st yeah, sleeps yeah, exactly. to take a to take a poll here, take a collection. <laughs> three thousand. They got three grand. They're going to cancel their record <laughs> and put this money down to see Mark get his taint shaved. He said three grand and he's in. I mean, I heard Jesse talking about this like big big boy job he's got. So he's got money to, to make it rain. Yeah, right? big yeah. boy. Yeah, big boy uh, <clears throat> job. How much money you got to put up today, Jesse? <laughs> All right, so which one of these guys and as Alice sleeps going to outdo Mark? Mark's willing to get his face waxed. Who's willing to go one step farther? Oh, I see PJ. Hey. I think we can get PJ over PJ's here. Crazy. I'll do whatever it takes. Get his nipples waxed. I hear their hair. Who? Oh. What's that? What's that? Dawn speaking up. <laughs> Squig has the hairy nipples. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? Squig has hairy nipples. Squig has hairy nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Squig, are you willing to step up and, and yeah. get your uh, nipples waxed? Yeah. Colin, you have hairy nipples? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Colin looks like Teen Wolf over there. Hey, Al, another Ian. I'll do it. He took his shirt off. He took his shirt off. He's got hair on his chest. Ian don't even have hair on his balls yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Colin doesn't have hair on his balls either, but he's got hair on his chest. Huh? What, you rub it off? Yeah. Damn, you're nasty. I would like to, how, I would like to know how Friction. you got missing last Sunday. Huh. <laughs> it was off rubbing the hair off his balls. I know. <laughs> Apparently Colin went missing, and I got accused of having him. <laughs> Sorry. Colin was missing in action last week. All he disappeared after a show. Well, I know he was his last scene with you. <laughs> yes. Colin yeah, masturbates. Yeah. <laughs> it was from eating the cheese off of that paper, wasn't it? All right. Yeah. Colin masturbates so much, he has no hair left on his junk. But his chest is full of hair, so he stepped up. He stepped up. He stepped up to get his... To get, uh, to get his... <laughs> Let me get this straight. Are you going to... You're going to get your chest waxed one time? Okay, so Colin stepped up to get his chest waxed. Anybody from the, from the Foul Mouth Al yeah, Show has has the ball in its court. It's in the lead right now. Me, I guess. Yeah. What, <laughs> do, you do? what are you stepping up there, VJ? One eyebrow. What do you, what do you want me to do? You said the hair above his butt crack. I got some... Oh, my God, you got some... Uh, <laughs> right on the lower back. <laughs> the person who's going to be doing the waxing... Sad, the qualify, sad right? One line on my ass. Hold on, there's too many people talking. VJ is stepping up. What are you going to get waxed? My butt. <laughs> VJ is going to get his ass waxed, his ass crack waxed. <laughs> by Chrissy Snow. <laughs> by Chrissy Snow. <laughs> hey, Dawn. Dawn, did you bring any uh, synthetic gloves or anything like that? I have rubber gloves. No. Okay. You, yes, you do. <laughs> we have rubber gloves somewhere. Squig is going to wax <laughs> VJ's taint. <laughs> I'll pull it off. On the foul mouth Al show, what? I pull it off. Like they all do. Afterwards, when they pull it off, they rub it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Then let's do your shaft. I'll do the pull one. Who's got the top bids? This is why you're in the band. So we got the band. As Alice Sleep has the top bids. Anybody from the show want to want to beat ass crack? Colin's going to go for it. What do you got, Colin? You're gonna put your shit on the table. <laughs> Nuts. Oh, I mean, it's already shaved, so like. How are you gonna really... wax it then, Colin? I've got. Ooh. <laughs> really, really Chrissy, you're gonna have to do some work here tonight, honey. Oh my God. He's Chrissy got Snow didn't know she was stepping up for all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colin's on. taking it to the next level. He's going. Dress, he's going you pubes. Do. do you have I any pubes, Colin? Are you are you totally shaved? Somebody go check Colin's pubes. 
Chrissy, go check Colin's pubes. I'm not going to go check his pubes. <laughs> Squig, check his pubes. You got stuff to take off. I'll let, you, I'll let you wax my left arm. You can take that with you. That is not That's not going to beat nothing, Mike. No, absolutely not. Does he have any? Huh? He's got enough. He's got enough pubes. All right, all right. So, so it's back in the foul mouth out show court with. Uh, now wait a minute. Now, hold on. I got a problem. Hold on. I got We got We got to talk about this. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta ask you: Is uh, is is pubes? Is that like? I don't think that's worse than the than the ass crack. Which one's worse? I would say pubes. No, so pubes. All right, pubes. I guess it depends right. on who has the most hair. Yeah. No, it's gonna hurt really bad either way. If you, as long as you got enough. So, so we got uh, we got the ball on the foul mouth. How about the uh, as Alice sleeps? Is there anybody willing to go farther than pubes? I'd say the only thing that's gonna beat that's gotta be taint. Yeah, it's gotta be taint. Squid confirmed. Squid pubes. pubes too. Squid confirmed. I'll be like a lion, I guess. Squid confirmed he does have pubes. So now the ball is back in the court of As Alice sleeps. Does anybody want to step up for a taint job? Huh? Me. Colin should just. Colin, you're already in the lead, son. You don't have to. He just volunteered for everything. Colin, you don't have to outdo yourself. I just want to like. We'll wax your whole body. Colin just wants somebody to rub wax on his taint. It's been forever, man. We love, <laughs> we love wax here. Yeah. Wax that ass. Wax. Let's say him yeah. and BJ wax each other. <laughs> yeah, push their wait, junk wait, wait, together. Have a wax off. Since they've known each other so long. Oh, my. Colin said he wants to wax you guys' taints together, VJ. <laughs> I don't even know what a taint is. Huh? <laughs> you paint with it. <laughs> it's something artists use to paint with. Hey, you know what? Happen. We can put some wax on Colin's pubes and on his ass and connect them and let him rip it apart. Chrissy, what have you got yourself into there, dear? I know. All right, well, all I know is we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back with... Uh, Amber Scott and uh, Colin getting his taint shaved <laughs> wax. Wax. on the Foul Mouth Al show. And uh, let's go out here with another song from As Alice Sleeps. We're going to take it out with <laughs> oh Colin, get your ass ready, buddy. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to be back with As Alice Sleeps, Miss Bodie Lynn Scott and uh, Colin getting his taint shaved. On the Foul Mouth Al Show. We're gonna do it.